Hello guys, let's ride with me. In this video, we are not going anywhere but to a farmhouse of my cousin. And here is the entrance. Uh, getting in and we are welcomed by the chickens. There are many of them around the house. And here is how green it is. This is where I come to escape in order to get inspiration and also motivation to finish my story that I am working on. So firstly, let's get out all the stuff from my bag. This is the new backpack that I got from my other cousin from Australia. And I just got the laptop, the mouse and also the notebook. And this is the reading book that I will be reading when during the free time. Just getting things ready. And then I found a candy in my bag and I just try it out to get some energy in the morning also need to look at the to-do list so that I know what else do I need to finish before starting to work on the story but I decided to not do anything besides reading and writing today because I cannot get into the mood of writing yet so I decided to read the book first here is the hammock that is very comfy to sit on and also sleep in like this. It's very relaxing and comfortable. Just enjoy the story and let the soul and mind be free. The book that I am reading is a long novel from one of my favorite authors in Cambodia and the story is talking about the love story happening along the Mekong River and it's very interesting. I also need some snack as well that I got from the street vendor near my house along the way coming to this place. I look serious because I got into the story. And after reading, it's time to get to work. At first, I need to check out where I miss out. I mean, how much have I finished and where should I continue writing? It may look strange, but I prefer working in a place like this where we can enjoy the nature, no distraction so that I can wholly focus on the story and I need to pay much attention on it because this is going to be the very first story that I plan to publish a book mm -hmm. after getting the motivation encouragement from my friends I have decided to be working on it by the end of these years and hopefully I can make it but for the story I have finished only less than 50 percent because i also need to work on my daily work as well if you notice you may hear some bird sounds and also the chicken 
and the air here is very fresh so I can call this the best escape place I mostly come here whenever I find it hard to concentrate or focus so that I can work better the productivity always go higher when I get here how about you what kind of place do you like to be at in order to fully concentrate on anything especially the most important task I wish I can stay here all day and all night so that my productivity remain high You may not see the cousin because they are inside. Um, the wifey is busy cleaning and doing the housework, and the husband is working on something. I'm not sure. So we are just working separately like this. I love the fact that I can look at the greeny things all around during the short breaks. I will be showing you up next how the views around me look like so that you can get to see why I feel so relaxing being here and here it is on the left side this is how it looks like mostly it's green and a little bit yellow I guess and here when I look up the blue skies matching very well with the green plants perfect match also look to the front everything is green and blue again and this is my right side many many mini plants looking very cute over here Here I just want to show you when I was working on the story You can see that the chicken are moving all around as well It's like very natural, very peaceful As you know that the writing task really need the concentration We cannot afford to be distracted by anything even if it's small or the big things so we prefer working remotely and alone like this <laughs> smelling the flowers, seeing all kind of plants one by one, chasing after the chickens that are going all around. They are looking for food I guess mostly. Since I have come here, I have never seen them being still. They always be active and I hope, I wish I can stay active as they are as well. Now it's time to feed the chickens. My cousin is doing the work and just stand next to her, waiting to record the scenes for you. This is the time that I can see and count how many chickens she got here. So many, I guess it's like 20 or more than that. The best time to gather them and the best tip ever is to give them food so that
I don't know why, but I find a uh, so cute. <laughs> After that, I also continue reading and eat the snack <laughs> again. You may not know, but I am a real foodie. It's like sometimes I am not hungry at all, but if there is something next to me that is edible, I will surely try to finish them one by one. <laughs> That's why I may look like I keep getting rich. No matter how much I try to do the exercise during the free time, but the problem is that I cannot stop eating. <laughs> And what is even worse is that all of my friends are also the foodies. So during the weekend or whenever we are free from work, we go together to, to try something new and also eat our favorite foods. So it's not easy to lose weight when being with them. What kind of book do you like to read? My reading habits this day is to switch between novels and self-development books. It means like, I will write, I will read a novel for two weeks, and then the next will be a self-help book that can help me improve myself. And the next, and after that, I will be back to the new novel. But I only read what I want to read. Maybe I cannot say that I am a bookworm because if I'm not interested in it or if I don't know the author, I will never touch it. No matter how many people have convinced or recommended it, that's my problem. Same for the movies. If I watch trailer for a few minutes and I'm not into it, I will not finish it or even continue to see what comes next at all. stay there until the evening and go back home. This is how it looks outside of the house. And here I found this guy is enjoying the grass party over here. And as I keep recording it, it's staring at me. He's wondering, hey, who are you and what are you doing? Why are you here? And also a few over there too. They are also staring at me. Maybe it looks strange or maybe they just want to know what are you up here for. And this should be all for the video. See you.